Yurina couldn't help but laugh a little at the question. That's an interesting question. It honestly depends on the events. If it's swimming, definitely Fontaine. If it's archery, obviously Inazuma. If it's running, Sumeru. If it's singing Mondstadt, of course. Yurina rolled her eyes at your comment. Yeah, I know there isn't, you idiot. I'm just listing the events for each nation's strong point. Obviously, there isn't going to be a singing event in the Olympics. Hmm, if we're going on the basis of who have the best athletes, then Liyue no doubt, those Adepti are so strong and agile they would dominate. No, I think Sumeru still have a good amount of chance here. Their knowledge and academic ability could really help them. But we can't just ignore all of that Adepti magic and skill. They have been training for hundreds of years after all. If I have to pick, Inazuma would be the most fit for the Olympics. The people of Inazuma are quite fit and they train a lot. So I think Inazuma would win. Second, Liyue would definitely be in the top two. The people of Liyue are also strong and the Millilith is quite well trained. I think that Liyue would be in the second place. Shogun, that is a completely senseless question. The people of each land have their own respective talents. And how would such a competition even take place? It is not the sort of mindless entertainment to be engaged in when eternity is at stake. Shogun very well, as a hypothetical question, Liyue. That land is not only blessed with an abundance of mora, but its people are also blessed with talent. In terms of swimming, of course, it would be Fontaine. In terms of archery and hunting, that would clearly be both Liyue and Inazuma. But in terms of endurance, Mondstadt's Godwin and Glory would easily win.